Frank, welcome to Sligo. Is this your first time to Ireland? Uh, to Ireland, not to actually in Dublin. I've been a couple of couple of times in regards of the of the national team. Uh, we played there against Ireland, and uh, last year also with uh, with Levada we played against Dundalk. Uh, so we were there. But uh, Sligo, it's it's the first time, first time in my life. Uh, but I, like I said, I enjoyed the ride over here from uh, from from uh, Dublin. So it was it's, it's amazing. When did you first hear about Sligo Rovers? Uh, to be honest, uh, when 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 John called me, uh, before I, I I only only knew Shamrock and and, and Dundalk because uh, the Estonian teams played against him. Uh, but uh, the moment when I started uh, looking into Sligo, I was uh, I was really really pleasantly surprised, and it's 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 so far and all the stories I've heard uh, also from some Estonians who who have worked together here in Sligo, as I understood. So it's it's only great stories, and I'm really excited. And what did you like the sound of? The sound of you know what, what, what interested you when you were hearing about Sligo? Was there anything that particularly said that, that kind of attracted you here? Yeah, everything. First of all, I've heard about the atmosphere that's here in the in the in the stadium. Uh, it's it's a small city, but the city breeds football. So you know, for a football player, that's that's everything you want. You want to be in an environment where 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 people love football and uh, every week the city waits uh, wait, waits for the match so uh, that's 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 one massive thing for me and um, and uh, the showgrounds uh, when I when I first heard the name showgrounds I, I immediately knew it's like uh, I I haven't heard a better name for a stadium than the showgrounds and I, I you know it's I'm ready to to put on the show. I see you're wearing the number ten on your top. Is that the type of footballer you are? A number ten. Uh, yeah, you can you can say well. It depends on which which number ten you take. If you take Messi, then nobody nobody is Messi. But uh, I, I I like to be uh, creative. I like to also as as a winger, you know, you need to make the make the runs, make the attack the deep. So it's 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 a combi combination of the of the of the ten and the seven and then. But uh, no, ten is since I was little. It's, uh, it's always been my number, and seven seven will always be the lucky number. But uh, let's make ten also uh, the, the the more luckier. You've played internationally for Estonia. You've played against Ireland. Uh, yeah, if I uh, don't mistaken, it's I've, I've played against Ireland uh, because you know we have had a lot of national games and I, I haven't searched it back yet so but there was Northern Ireland was for sure and I think Ireland was was also there and is being part of the international setup still an ambition for you coming to Sligo yeah of course uh, that's that's it's a very big ambition and uh, it's it's for sure also like uh, how, how this it's 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 very likable you yeah. know and, and before, when I was in Estonia now and, and made the move from uh, from uh, Flora to Levadia, it's you know it's still always in Estonia. It's that's that's a big thing, and uh, and then there are a lot of stories. But uh, I've been in my whole life. I've been in the national team, and uh, the moment I signed with Levadia, uh, I, I wasn't there for once. So you know, it's it's not a, like a theory. It's just a fact. And uh, but uh, you know, in Estonia, people like to have this kind of theories, and maybe, maybe they are too. You're joining Sligo Rovers at a very busy and exciting time. Big league matches coming up in July, an FAI Cup match, and two European ties. You couldn't have timed it any better. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's like, you, but it's as as a football player, you you live for these kind of games and. Uh, European games, everyone wants to play them, and they are they are they have been always special to me. Also, every year that we play them, and it's it's it's, it's just something different. And uh, and like you say, every game that now comes, it's it's important. So it's 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 a, it's a good way to make uh, the introduction to the people. And Thursday, the seventh of July, will be a special day for you, not just because Sligo Rovers are playing Ballad Town in the Europa Conference League. There's another reason. Yeah, yeah, it's my it's my birthday, zero seven zero seven. So, like uh, you know, so far my birthday has always been a great day. So I'm really confident that it it will stay this way. So might you be encouraging your new manager to let you make your debut in Europe for Sligo Rovers on Thursday? 
Well, it's it's <laughs> it's it's you know if you if you like the numbers, it's 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 a really good uh, really good really good odds, you know. So I, I leave that up to the coach. But on a serious point, you have some international experience, both with club and country, obviously. So you know what this sort of atmosphere of a European game is like. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I think now, looking back in my career, there are like a lot of games, a lot of big games where I where I got the experience from. And, and uh, like I said, European games they are they are different. It's like make it or break it. It's 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 that one or that two games that that you have to perform and. and and uh, it's it's always uh, mentally it's it, it it is different than to play a league game. So I I hope I can bring that uh, experience and uh, help the team uh, with it. We wish you the very best of luck, Frank. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.